all right then uh, welcome back everyone let's solve this question make it beautiful so let me read out the question for you an array a is called ugly if it contains at least one element at least one element which is equal to sum of all the elements before it fine so if we have an array let me just draw it here if we have an array we call it ugly if there exists at least one element such that all the elements before it uh, sum so basically let's say this element was e we call this array ugly if there exists at least one element such that sum of all the elements before it the sum of all the elements before it is equal to that right so yeah that element is equal to sum of all elements before it if the array is not ugly it's beautiful so basically an array is beautiful array is beautiful if there there doesn't exist any element of this sort that is uh, sum of all the elements before it is equal to this element fine so if no such element exists then array is called beautiful we have given some examples here so this uh, this array is ugly why because you can say there exists element here 9 such that sum of all the elements before it is equal to 9 right so this array is ugly then this array is also ugly why because the second element is existing right sum of all the elements before it is equal to uh, this element now one thing is for sure uh, the culprit cannot be the first element right uh, because there is no element before it so the culprits or basically you can say the candidates which will make the array ugly is going to be from second element third element fourth element or fifth element right that's a very obvious thing first element uh, can never make the element ugly because there are no elements before it and the definition of ugly array is clear right so if you have a if you have at least one element of this sort that is some fold that before it is equal to this element then the array is ugly fine cool so that is the question here so they have just given definitions of beautiful and ugly arrays so this array is for example beautiful why beautiful because there doesn't exist any element of this sort that's why it is beautiful now what is the question so i guess this is the question we are given an array a we are given an array a so we are given an array okay so this array is also given in sorted order if you see we are given an array a 1 less than equals to even less than equals to a2 less than equals to em okay the array is given in sorted order that's an interesting thing fine you have to so yeah i guess you can make this observation right so this is sorted or uh, non decreasing order you have to reorder the elements okay we have to reorder the elements of a in a way that the resulting array is beautiful all right so the array that they have given us uh, might be a ugly array and we have to reorder them might be it's not like it is definitely an ugly array you have to reorder the elements in a way that the resulting array is beautiful so you have to make the array beautiful fine not that you are not allowed to insert new elements so array existing ones fine so we just we are given a sorted array and we need to if uh, if required reorder reorder it such that this array becomes beautiful you are allowed to keep the array unchanged if it is beautiful that's what they are saying fine so then the input is fine input is nothing uh, input is i guess n then the array itself in sorted order important thing is the array is sorted cool so that uh, reduces a lot of overhead and then uh, we have to perform we have to see whether a reordering of this array exists as that is a beautiful what is a beautiful array we just saw it should not be ugly and uh, output if it is impossible to reorder the elements print no so if you are not able to reorder the array then just uh, print no and uh, otherwise print yes and the second line print any integers so let me summarize the question for you the question is simple you are given an array a it can be either ugly or beautiful now you perform some sort of reordering of the elements and convert it maybe a dash convert into a dash such that it becomes beautiful okay so if it is possible to make it beautiful print yes as well as followed by the array a dash the reordering of the elements you got otherwise just print no so that is a question basically cool so this is a a rated question and uh, the array is sorted fine so let's try to make some observations here now we have to print either yes or no right we have to print either yes or no cool so let's think about a case where we are definitely sure that the array can never be beautiful right when can when are you sure that the array will never be beautiful can you tell me now this i'll come to this example i'll come back to it but when can when are you sure that the array can never be beautiful can you tell me what if all elements are equal if all elements are equal let's say i have 5555555 okay i have 4 times 5 like if all elements are equal uh, you can never reorder it right in a way it becomes beautiful why uh, because the second element uh, will always have its sum equal to the first element right the, the second element will be the culprit which will make this area ugly the second element will be equal to some of the sum of all the elements before it fine so where is equal then we are sure that uh, no fine so that's an observation we made now what else how can we proceed how do you think what do you think basically how should you think about it okay the area is sorted can i use that can i exploit it so basically what we are after is what we are after is we want to put elements in a way such that i want to put this every element e such uh, such that sum of all the elements before it should not be equal right so if it is not equal uh, you either want this sum you either i'm talking with this sum right so you want to put every element e in such a way that sum of all the elements before it 
is either less than e or greater than e right so because you don't want to make it equal so either you want the sum of all the terms for it less than e or greater than e let's see uh, achieving which one is easier does the sum of all the elements before the sum of all the elements before e in the making the sum less than e is easier or sum greater than e is easier let's see so let's say an element is 5 element is 5 even if I take all the elements less than this 5, so basically what I'm trying to do is either I know I have to put all the, I have to make the sum before e either less than e or greater than e and I know the array is sorted. So I want to use this somewhere. Okay. So this is how I thought when I saw this question first, how I approached it basically. So again, like the repeating theme in my videos is you have, you would have seen that I tried to explain you the approach of the equation rather than the solution. So yeah, so if you want to see the solution, you can just go to the editorial and you can see it. Fine. If you're watching this video, you probably want to understand how do you approach this question. Anyway, uh, so come back to the question now. Let's say you have element 5. So you want to make sum of all the elements before it either uh, less than 5 or greater than 5. Now achieving which one is easier? Let's try achieving the sum less than 5. Okay. So you know for the fact that if you want to achieve the sum less than 5, you will have to pick the elements less than 5, right? So maybe you will have to pick elements like 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4 basically. But... Uh, even if I pick elements less than 5, it's not guaranteed that the sum will be less than 5. Let's say for example, I have 1, 2, 3 here, the sum is still greater than 5. Okay, that's a problem. So even by picking uh, the less elements, I'm not able to, like numbers less than 5, I'm not able to make, I'm not able to make, uh, I'm basically I'm not able to come to a plausible discussion, to discuss, not able to make a logical choice here. But what if uh, I try to make the sum greater than 5, right? Let's say I want to make the sum here greater than 5. Okay. Hear me out. If I just put the largest element here, so which is basically a n, if I just put largest element here a n, this gives you an idea, right? If I just put largest element before it, I can be sure. Uh, largest element before it and here you can put some other elements, right? So this gives, a, if I put the largest element, some elements after it, I can be sure this 5 will, this 5 will never be equal to sum of all the elements before it. Why? Uh, because you have put the largest element here and this phi cannot be more than the largest element. Right? So this gives you a hint. Okay, maybe some, uh, maybe achieving the sum greater than e is very easy. Less than e is not making much sense, but greater than e, I just need to focus on the largest element. Okay, so you got a hint there. Okay, you have, you can use the largest element. So hear me out that you have an array. Okay, it's sorted basically. A1 less than equals to A2 less than equals to A3 less than equals to An. That's what you have, right? That's what you have. So, if I put the largest element as the first element, I put the largest element as the first element, okay, if I put the largest element as the first element, so here in this example, you can say if I just put 14 here, if I just put 14 here, 14 here, and then like whatever elements I put here, let's say here, of course, you cannot put 14, but uh, I can uh, put here any other element, let's say maybe 10. Okay, maybe 10. Okay, so here, like, for the first guy, if I pick the largest element, in the second guy, I make sure that it is not 14. I just need to make sure that it is not 14. Okay, you can, book, you can pick any element, but just make sure that it is, it is not 14. Then do you agree with me that all these elements can never be your culprits? Never be the culprits? Basically, they will never make the array ugly. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me? Why? Whatever element you put here, whatever element you put here, the sum of this will always be greater than that. Why? Because you have the maximum element and one more element with it. Maximum element and one more element with it. Right? So whatever I put, so here, either you pick 4 or 8. Either I pick 4 or 8, doesn't matter. Either I pick 4 or 8, doesn't matter. Let's say you had one more element here, 6. One more element, 6. So either I pick 4, 8 or 6, doesn't really matter. Why? Because the maximum element and one more element is before it. Right? Not just the maximum element. You also have one more element before it. So this, this element can never be equal to sum of all the elements before it. So I can pick any one. Maybe I can just pick 4. Right? The 4 is done. Again, here, irrespective of what element you put, like you have 8 and 6 remaining, so 10, 14 is done. So you have only 8 and 6 remaining. So whatever element you pick, it can never be equal to sum of all the elements before it. Why? Because you have the largest element plus some other elements. Right? The number cannot be greater than the largest element. That's obvious thing. So irrespective of whatever I put, I can put 6. Similarly here also, for the same argument holds, the same argument holds. So what we need, what we found out is, we just put the largest element at the first and make sure that the second element is not the largest element. My job is done. 
right so that is the main idea so what is the idea we got put the largest element at the first put the max element basically put the max element as basically a1 right as even the first element make sure make sure make sure a2 doesn't become culprit a2 is not culprit that is you don't put 14 here because like the array elements are not distinct right so 14 can repeat so just make sure you don't put 14 here any other element than that okay it's not like i put here 10 but you can pick any element i just have to make sure that the second guy doesn't become culprit it doesn't make the array ugly that is some of all the elements before this guy is not 14 and only 14 can make this guy ugly right so make sure a2 is not culprit a2 is not culprit and how will a2 will not be culprit I just need to make sure that a2 is not equals to an. That's what I need to make sure. Right? That's what I need to make sure. And then any order works. Input rest element. So basically, okay. Put the remaining elements any order. Put the remaining elements in any order. So that's the question. The question is understood. Put the remaining elements in any order. Right? You just need to make sure. So you just need to make sure that the second element doesn't become culprit and your job is done. So how did I end up in this? I have to put the maximum element because I found out I cannot allow any element to become the culprit and make the array ugly. So what I did is, uh, okay, I want to achieve some either less than this element or greater than it. But I found out achieving the sum greater than is very easy. If I just put the largest element and make sure that second element uh, is not the culprit, then any, like then you put the elements in any order after it, it's not going to uh, it's not gonna make the area ugly, right? So that's that. So that is the solution basically. Now, again, when can you not make this happen, right? So I like this. You can, you may not be able to do it every time. When can you not do it? So let's summarize the algorithm again. So put the max element, right? So basically, what I can do is, uh, uh, first I can print an, right? So right now, I'm assuming that the answer is existing, but I'm trying to now see when the answer cannot exist. Okay, so let's simplify this algorithm a bit. So this is like you are given a, you are given array a, and now you want to get a dash. So this a dash, I'm just putting a in here, right? So maximum element. Now the second element, I want to put in a way uh, that it doesn't a2 is not the culprit. So what is your best bet? Like what is the simplest choice here? What is the simplest choice? Just pick the smallest element, right? Just pick the smallest element. You can pick any element, fine. Okay, guys, you can pick any element. But uh, what I know is the array doesn't have distinct elements. So I know I can have something like this 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3 or maybe 7, 7, 7. So like if you pick the largest element then you would have to look for other element other than 7. And you will have to keep track of the index and because you have to print the answer right. You have to print the answer as well. So what I am saying is you will print, you will take this 7 and then you will look out for an element which is not equal to 7. Maybe let us say 3 and maybe you can put it here. But you will have to remember okay I put the element at this index. So I have to print the remaining guys right. So that you will need to remember. So I hope you, you are able to see. So what I was saying is, if you pick the largest element and then look out for some any other arbitrary element, then you'll have to remember what arbitrary element you choose. But uh, that you don't want to do basically, that you don't want to do. So what you do is the simplest way is just like the minimum element, yeah? uh, keep it simple. So then you are sure, you have picked the largest element, you pick the minimum element and these are the remaining array elements, right? But when uh, is this not possible? When all the array elements are equal, right? If all the array elements are equal, let's say you only have 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. Then if you pick the largest element in the first position, the minimum element is also 7, right? The minimum element is also 7. If all the array elements are equal, then it is not possible, right? So that's one thing. So array elements, like at least uh, two distinct elements should be there uh, to make our array beautiful. That, that's what we found out, right? So that's a simple observation we made. Now will you check whether all the array elements are equal or not? Can you guess it? So maybe you can uh, just store them in a hash map and do it. but you can just simply do this check, right? If a1 equal equals to a n, then also all their elements are equal, right? Because the array is sorted, and you know that if a1 is equal to a n, if the first guy is equal to the last guy, then definitely you only have uh, you only have like there is only one element existing. There is one distinct element existing, right? All elements are equal. So what is the pseudo code? So this is the code, but uh, we'll come back to it afterwards. So yeah. So what is the code basically? If all the elements are equal, and how do you test it? If a1 equal equals to an, then no, it's not possible. So first element is equal to last element, and it's not possible. Else, it is always possible. So you can just print yes. And what is your array ordering? An and a1. Why? You can pick any element. Fine. Okay, you can pick any element if all elements are not equal. 
but I'm just saying just pick the smallest element for simplicity. So you don't have to remember the index of which element you pick. A n, A n, A 1 and then all the remaining elements, the remaining elements from A 2 till A n minus 1. Right? So that is the algorithm. So that's that. I hope you got it. Let's uh, quickly code it up. All right, then uh, let's code up the solution quickly. So first is n, uh, there is size. And uh, then we have to take their input. So by now you'll be bored by this. So <laughs> probably from the 900 rated question series, uh, I'll stop showing you how to take air input, but uh, fine. So, okay. So first things first, uh, when can you not make this array beautiful? When all the elements are equal, right? So if array of zero, that is A1, is the first and last element are equal, then you are sure that you cannot make it. So I'll just print out no here, right? It's definitely, in, only in this case, you cannot make the array beautiful, right? We already saw why. Because like the second element will always be the culprit. Right, and if we just eliminate now, now if all the elements are not equal. At least two distinct elements are there. At least two distinct elements. Okay, at least two distinct elements are there. Then we can definitely make it right. Just pick the largest element in the pick the largest element, the first one, the second largest, like minimum element in the second one, and you can be sure there will be no more culprits. We already discussed this. Let's not uh, go to the loop again. So, yeah, the answer is possible. Yes, new line, and then the first two elements are. The largest element so area of n minus 1 followed by area of 0 and of course one more space and i'll just print the remaining elements so why choose the minimum element you can pick any element but i chose the minimum element just for the brevity i want to simplify my code then i go from i equals to 1 l less than n minus 1 so the remaining elements from second to second last i plus plus c out area of i followed by space and then in the end a new line fine so I just quickly print it Cool. So just see this no case. This no case will be when all their elements are equal. If there are at least two distinct elements, it will always be possible. Let's see here. There are at least two distinct elements, always possible. Pick the largest element and the smallest element. Fine. Your job is done here. Yeah, cool. So let's just quickly submit it and see if it works. Yeah, it works. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.